This is a transfer case and for us to know how where this is and what it does is there's going to be on the back of the transmission we have our transmission here automatic transmission that's bolted to the back of that and it's giving us power through this drive shaft to the front differential and through this back drive shaft here to the rear differential. So transfer cases are only found on four wheel drive vehicles. So this is a transfer case that's delivering power to the front and rear differentials. And we wanna make sure that the fluid is full in these. So this is a fill plug and over here on the very bottom is the drain plug. Don't mix these up. Sometimes it will say drain. If it doesn't say drain, the one always lower is going to be drain. And the one up above is fill. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the um, fill plug. We break that free. And then we just twist it out. And it's always good to have a drain pan underneath just in case it's full because if it's not full, then we need to know how much fluid's in it. So you can see nothing leaked out. So what you can do is you can usually put your finger in there and see if you can fill any fluid, which we can't. So now we need to top it off with the cracked fluid. Okay, so we're gonna look up all data. We're gonna see what type of fluid and then we're going to add some fluid and how to properly add it. Okay, so we've loaded our vehicle in and I've typed in transfer case fluid at the top here. This is a 2002 Ford Explorer. Um, once I type that in and it populates, it shows um, the type of fluid, how often we should replace it. We're going to go down here to the type and capacities and this particular vehicle calls for um, dex or mercron so mercron in the transfer case it says it takes 1.7 quarts total so now we need to get the proper fluid we can buy that at the auto parts store so we have like autozone there's a Mercon and a Mercon 5. This is Mercon 5. Um, a lot of the staff manufacturers have said that um, Mercon 5 is an upgraded fluid, so you want to make sure that that's compatible with regular Mercon. This particular one is Ford. It's a Mercon LV. This is an updated fluid, even surpassing the Mercon 5. And then there's a Dexton Mercon. But we'll use the good fluid here to top it off. And what I've made is a little um, spout, if you don't have a pump, where we're going to add it through the holes and then we're just going to pour it in at the angle to top it off. So you can make something like this if you want to fill it. You can do a couple of different options. We just need to get it to the right angle up here to fill it up into the hole up here to get fluid in there. So there's pumps that you can purchase. This particular one, we're just going to put it up in there and we're just going to, um, what I do is tip it up here and then we're just gonna kind of squirt the fluid inside Kind of like a differential you buy some differential fluid we're going to squirt that and once we put it in there and it starts dripping out we're usually full and you can see how we've topped that off so we want to see the fluid leaking out and that way we know we've got it to the right level Okay, and so you could let it drip here for a long time. Usually, once it drips and stops dripping, then I'll put that fill plug back in. 
Okay, so after we wait a little while and it just barely starts strip drizzling out, I'm gonna put this plug back in. And I just thread it in by hand. It's very important that you thread all these in by hand because this is aluminum and I don't wanna strip it. So I'm gonna try to get that on there. And then once you tighten it, after we have snugged down the plug with our regular ratchet, we're gonna use a torque wrench. This particular wrench is set at 18 foot pounds for our transfer case. And I'm gonna go until the lights turn green and it beeps and it will also buzz like that. Okay, so I hit 18 foot pounds and once it's green, I know I'm tight. So there's my transfer case plug torque.